The next day, I am down by the poolside. It's another beautiful day. And I am sitting on a lounger and I notice another couple in their mid to late fifties. There was a woman and she was pushing a gentleman in a wheelchair and he had a drink in each hand and she's pushing him along to the edge of the pool where she stops and summons some people over to help her lift this gentleman up out of the wheelchair and into the pool. He has absolutely no use of his legs. She gets into the pool next to him. They're having a few drinks, conversations, laughing, enjoying each other's company. And I think, wonder what happened to this fellow. And as I look up, I see that they are holding one another and they're dancing, dancing in the pool. And I think to myself, you can grab a hold of life and your circumstance and be happy, or you can be miserable and bring misery to all those around you. And as I'm thinking about this, I look up and who do I see? Lo and behold, it's Tom. And he is crossing the cement bridge, all crotchety and crumbling because he's in his bare feet and the cement is too hot on Tom's feet. Time, it's the same at work. You can choose to be the dancer or you can choose to be miserable. The choice is yours. But work is a little bit different. We spend between 30 and 40, maybe more, hours each week in the workplace. And we don't get to choose who we're working with or who we're working for. And in, unlike in our personal lives, we cannot divorce, kick to the curb, ignore, disrespect, walk away from the people we work with, like we might be able to do in our personal lives. And we are all special and we are all unique. And we all see things a certain way. We all, for the most part, believe we are right. Even when we're wrong, we want to be right. We all want to be understood, but we often fail to understand the other person. Consider what makes up a person. Well, we have internal things to us. Are we male? Are we female? Are we transgender? Where are we from? How old are we? Things that are intrinsic to us. And then we have these external dimensions to us. What is our level of education? Do we finish high school? Do we have a PhD? What are our religious and cultural beliefs? Are we married? Are we single? Are we common law? Those things are all external to who we are. Then we have, where do we belong in our organization? Are we a manager? Where do we fit? Do we belong to the union? Are we an anti-union? So above that, we have this global dimension to us. What are our political systems, laws and legislations, world events? Where do we stand on climate change? Where do we stand on a global pandemic? Where do we stand on vaccination? All of these things make up who we are. You didn't think there might be some conflict there? 